And when I got into the top 10, I was very, very grateful for that. But mm -hmm. I asked, I said, if I make top 10, I want to be number five. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm praying, please, God. And sure enough, I was the fifth contestant. Right. And talk about the power of prayer. Mm -hmm. I had, had said, now that I made top 10, mm -hmm. please let me make top five. Because <laughs> who wants to just stop right there? You yeah. know, you're on a roll. All the way, yeah. So I asked, if I make top five, please let me be number three. Yeah. Sure enough, I was number three. Right. And um, I'm standing there with first runner-up at the two of us were there before they called the first runner-up. Mm -hmm. And my prayer wasn't to win. My mm -hmm. prayer was, God, I know how tough this job is going to be. So mm -hmm. my prayer was, please, if you don't think I can handle it, please don't let me win. <laughs> <laughs> and that's literally what I asked for. And mm -hmm. I was so ready for, me to, mm -hmm. for them to call Miss Hawaii for fourth, third, second, or first runner-up mm -hmm. when I made top five. Mm -hmm. And when they called all the other girls' names and I was still standing, mm -hmm. it was kind of a reaffirmation of my faith mm -hmm. because I knew that there was a purpose for me being mm -hmm. led to Atlantic City when I hadn't even, uh, there was a time where I wasn't even thinking about competing. Mm -hmm. So when I kind of had a few moments to, to look back on what, what I went through, all right. I just, you know, I had to thank God because mm. He was really the one who led me to that space and time, mm. you know, and, and let me realize a lot of my dreams. And so, Angela, what would be your advice to, especially the young ladies out there who sees you as a, as a role model? And I think all youths in particular, you set yourself goals and you have achieved everyone. And of course, you mentioned God has been very important in that. Right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Well, remember how we talked about good mm -hmm. character? I always yeah. say that you can accomplish your, mm -hmm. your goals with two things. Number mm -hmm. one, you need hard work, and number two is good character. Mm -hmm. But for me, those things came from my parents who were my teachers, and they also instilled my faith into me. Mm -hmm. So a whole bunch of those things combined. My faith has always been the foundation of my mm -hmm. decision-making. Right. Um, I don't do anything if it doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. and